Time for a small but crucial question. If you know the diffusivity of, d of A in B, does that give you any information of diffusivity of B in A? Look at this illustration here. You have blue molecules and red molecules mixing. The diffusivity tells you how fast, in some way, the blue molecules are getting mixed into the red molecules. Does that tell you anything about how fast the red molecules are being mixed into the blue? Yeah, of course. Because the blue molecules can't be mixed with the red if the red aren't mixed with the blue, right? So they have to be both mixed. So dBA equals dAB. And that's the simple answer to that question. And you can skip to the next video here. If you don't want a more advanced answer to that question. Because the problem is that if you take, for example, the diffusivity of benzene in air, it is actually concentration dependent. So it depends on if you have trace amounts of benzene or if you have a lot of benzene, because that will change the behavior of the gas. It doesn't show up uh, in our simple model and it doesn't even show up in the advanced model that we will look at later. But in real life, it can actually change. And especially with liquids, uh, that can change. So if you keep uh, the concentrations the same, so if you have trace amounts of benzene in air, that diffusivity is one value. And if you have a lot of air that diffuses into trace amounts of benzene, then you get the same diffusivity. But if you have the other way around, that you have trace amounts of air in a lot of benzene, then that's actually a different diffusivity. But that's actually outside uh, the scope of this course.